I'm here with Godfrey, and he's going to be talking about his work with invisible children. So, Godfrey, tell us about yourself. Well, my name is Godfrey Opio. Just like you said, I, I come from northern Uganda. I work with invisible children, as I mentioned. I, I work with, uh, as a mentor, I've been here on the road for the last uh, 10 weeks, moving all over America, especially in the Great Lakes region, in the, in the, in the states of Ohio, Indiana, and Michigan, carrying the story about the invisible children. And uh, yeah, I was born in northern Uganda. I, I grew up in northern Uganda since 1983. Yeah. Tell us about the ways that children become invisible in Central Africa. Well, uh, many times people have been asking this question, and it's true, why are they called invisible children? They are called invisible children because um, not so many knew about the suffering they are going through, not so many knew about what the Lord Regis and Army are doing against them, and not so many knew what they went through. And they became invisible, and they, their own armies deny them freedom, deny them justice, and then deny them access to quality education. They are being abducted, forced to fight as child soldiers. They are being brainwashed. They are being turned into monsters and masters of killers. And this has alone has made them become invisible because nobody knows about them. Nobody knows whether they are still alive or they are dead. And uh, this is why we call them the invisible children and why we are fighting for so them. So these children are captured to be put in to fight wars. That's true. Tell me about the ways that there's opportunities to stop this from happening. Well, um, just like I said, this war started in 1986 uh, by the Lord Registrant Army uh, called uh, the, the, the LRA, led by this man called Joseph Kony. He has started as, as a movement, a spiritual movement against the government of Uganda, but he later on turned to be violent and brutality against the innocent communities. So when the community denied them, the, the community never accepted them, they turned it into abducting children and forcing them to fight as what? Well, child soldiers. And basically has become more of a survival war because this is a man who has been indicted by the International Criminal Court and it's true, he's fighting for survival because if he has, he'll be brought into justice so soon. So we, we have come in to, to spread this awareness, to let people know about this war so that we gather our effort together, we deliver our voices, and we help put this violence at, at, at rest. We have been doing this, and we want any other person who still doesn't know about it to get to know about it by bringing us, as the Invisible Children staff, to their communities or churches or schools or colleges whatsoever, that we can share the story with them. And yeah, we brainstorm on, on the best way we can raise money to put in the early radio net networks because this, base, this community are totally remote. They do not have any radio communication. They do not have any road, road networks, and they are totally exposed and vulnerable to attacks by the, the LRA. Yeah. That work on the ground is very important to stop this viciousness towards children, That's and right. putting them into warfare. Yeah. So here in the United States, the Sisters of St. Joseph and the Diocese of San Diego and the so uh, Archdiocese of Indianapolis have partnered with invisible children to work on the ground to, to stop this from happening. Tell us about the work of Father Benoit and the radio transmitters and how does a radio transmitter help you in this cause? Well, um, it said the, the, the secret of getting ahead is getting started. Invisible children went into the front line of this war by partnering with the, the Catholic communities out there by help to, to help provide, first of all, protection to these communities. Two, the Catholic Diocese has proposed that the best way we can help these communities stay safe is by putting early radio networks or early warning systems. That is, uh, we talk about the FM, we talk about um, this walkie-talkie, because that's the only way they think is the best way they can warn villages in advance about any pending LRA attacks. And we have seen results, by the way. Yeah, we, some th two, three weeks ago, there's this radio called Radio Zereda, where the, the rebels were hearing and 30 members defected from the LRA and they came back home. That was a, a huge turn up, a huge turn, turning point in our, in our system we are setting out there. So whenever there's any pending attack by the LRA, the communities can be warned in advance that really 
there's a NALRA leading and heading to your direct direction. And they can be warned in advance and they can stay safe uh, from any, any pending attack. We have seen results and the communities who, which have all these other warning radio network, they are staying safe at the moment. It's only other, other communities which do not have this that are being vulnerable and we really want to help them by putting all this in place too. Yeah. It's great to have an early prevention and this warning system to That's prevent right. the children from being captured. Yeah. And it's wonderful that um, the organizations have partnered with you in, uh, in with uh, Father Blue here and to, to establish this early warning mm -hmm. system. Yeah. Where can people learn more about the work of Invisible Children? Yeah, definitely. We, we have our, our website called invisiblechildren.com where every work we are doing on the ground is reflected there right from 2005 up to where we are and if you want any information about the organization you can look into that and you get to learn more even how you want to donate perhaps if you want to learn about the program you want to learn about the, the staff members on the ground you want to learn everything is reflected on that website and i i, I call Thanks everybody so much for your work godfrey in, in helping you. these children yeah. and uh, we hope that this um, viciousness for the children yeah. ends soon. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. I appreciate that.